Hey, what's up guys, Mr. Bear 38 here, and today I'll be talking about more Forge stuff, as 343 has released the Forge fundamentals of scripting and bots. This was made in Forge by the Forge Council, and oh my god, they actually brought back Juggernaut, and you use the Diminisher of Hope when you are the Juggernaut. But all in all, I'm very happy this game mode is coming back, like we are missing so many old game types from the older Halo games, and I'm so excited to see Juggernaut coming back, or as they call it at the moment, Doom Fruit, which I thought was pretty funny for a name. And we also have our first look at a Forge boss fight, and it looks awesome. The possibilities with Forge is infinite. Also, the weak points of this boss is its eyes, and its weapons are throwing fusion coils. As you go through the phases of the boss, it will get faster fire rate and gain a shield as you progress throughout the fight. As I said, Halo Infinite's Forge is insane compared to the other Halo games. It has scripting, it has bots. You can make so much stuff with this. You could have horde mode, you could have so many things. You could create your own firefight without 343 making firefight. The possibilities are endless, guys. Like, I am beyond excited for this. And then also, 343 is working hard on bringing out custom game browser. And with Forge just around the corner, basically, coming in the winter update, and then custom game browser should hopefully be next. I mean, Halo is getting into a good place right now. And lastly, we have the 15 years of Halo where iconic pro players will be playing Halo Infinite with a twist, saying it's throwback showdown. So we'll have a throwback playlist. I'm assuming we'll have a throwback playlist. And hopefully we have Forge made maps from Halo 3. I mean, we've seen Guardian, we've seen Foundry. So hopefully we'll see more, but we'll have to wait and see for that live stream of watching the Halo 3 pros go at it. But that's it from me, guys, and I shall see you in the next one. Peace.